I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, I am a sucker for a dock, but I am at the line dock booth with uh, Quentin Malgo, and this is a dock unlike anything I've ever seen before. Hi, Quentin, how are you doing? Hi, Alison, I'm, I'm doing fine. Thank you. We're incredibly excited to be to here tonight to introduce the 16-inch line dock, but perhaps I should first explain you what is the line dock. Yes, yes, and, and uh, by the way, we love Belgians. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So yeah, uh, Nancy and I, we're two co-founders, we're, we're born and raised in Belgium, uh, and we had this incredible idea to tap into USB-C and use it as an opportunity to finally smash together all those accessories that we carry on every day. All those adapters and charges and dongles and external hard drives and everything. Well, we wanted to make it beautiful because they're just usually 50 bucks plastic potatoes. Well, we decided to, do, to go for something different. So we made this nine millimeter piece of aluminum that you slide underneath your MacBook that packs one extra charge for your MacBook. So okay, hang on, let me describe this. Sure. It looks like he's holding a MacBook that has no logo on it in his hand. It's very thin, but it's the same space gray, but it, it looks like a MacBook. It's a flat 13 inch. Yes. Very, very thin device. So now what does it what does it have in it? Show show it over there. Yeah, so it has one extra charge for your MacBook. So it's a built-in battery insanely powerful up to 60 watt power output so it's charging just as fast as a wall charger right you can actually fast charge the macbook air with it because the macbook air comes with a 30 watts power uh, power adapter this one is 60 watts you get it charged up to 50 percent twice as fast wow so this is power delivery right yes power delivery 60 watts power delivery is my favorite thing invented <laughs> yeah yeah it's nuts it's nuts so apart from that we got up to one terabyte SSD, so it's available in three storages option. First option is zero gigs, no storage. Second is 256. And for the really heavy users, we have a one terabyte option. All right. So, so this flat piece of uh, aluminum yes. is not just a dock, but it's also an SSD if that's what you need. But you don't have to pay for it if you don't need it. Exactly, precisely. That's that's our strategy. All right. Let's talk ports, though. We yes. got to talk ports. Yeah. So for the ports, uh, you connect it with. Yes. You connect it using a USB-C cable, and then you get access to one, two USB-3 ports, an SD card slot. This is the battery indicator. Oh, the button we all miss on the MacBook Pro. It's gone. Yes. It's been gone. But yeah, a little button, and it showed a bunch of little blue LEDs. Oh, I love that. Yes, with a nice fade in, fade out. You know, it's not like one, two, three. We wanted to make it beautiful. Very pretty. So, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. On the back, we have a charging USB-C port. And are these vent, air vents? This is passive cooling. No fans, no noise. No noise, good. And on the other side, we got an extra USB-C port, a third USB-3 port, a mini display port, and an HDMI port. Wow. That is, that is the line beautiful. dock 13 inch. So your, but your MacBook Pro is just going to cover all this up. It's just going to sit on top of it, right? Exactly. It's sitting flush. You're losing zero square inches of workspace. Wow. It's, there you go, I like that. Yeah, thanks. And the way it works is you have this tiny USB-C cable that is called a U cable because it's in a U shape. It so looks I'm holding like, this in my hand. Yeah, it looks like a little tiny horseshoe, maybe an inch across. It's got two little USB ports and on or USB uh, connectors. So I'm guessing, USB-C, sorry. So I'm guessing it pl plugs into the side and then it plugs into your laptop. Precisely. That's how it goes. Oh, that is so clean. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. So that is a 13-inch uh, line dock. I'm sorry. Um, that's been available since last year. But today, we're announcing the line dock 16-inch. All right. I have a 16-inch MacBook Pro. Let's talk. Fantastic. So we've revamped the whole thing from A to Z. So first, we've doubled everything. Double the SSD speed. We've doubled the USB-C hub speed. Um, we've increased the battery size and doubled the power, so it's up to 100 watts power output from the battery. Nice. Yes. But then we stopped like doubling things and flexing with the engineers and started thinking from a user perspective, because who are the 16-inch MacBook Pro users? They're videographers, they're photographers like you, and they need things that other people don't. What do they need? They need SD cards and fast ones. So we've added a second SD card slot, and both of them are UHS-2, which gives you 350 megabits per second read and write. That's ridiculous. Holy cow. Yeah, I know, I know. And Here's our happy USB port. 
Yes. And we still have fanless uh, uh, passive cooling. Passive cooling, and then we've shifted the video output at the back and added a second one. So now we have dual HDMI output, and that allows for the sleekest setup you could possibly think of because look over there we have two monitors a dual monitor setup with a MacBook and a line dock and you don't see any cable because oh, all the cables are on the yeah. back yeah yeah th this I'm gonna take a picture of this for the show notes because that is just gorgeous there's there's literally nothing I can see a, a little bit of a cable coming off of one monitor but that's it everything yes. cable is and all of right, course we, on the other side on the other side we kept the USB 3 ports because we, because we still need them yes we do yes, USB we do. Uh, so they're USB Type A, USB 3 cables. Uh, precisely. Yes. And power delivery on this side, and we still got, wait. We still got our lights. Yeah, yeah, of course. But people Unless have been burned savage the battery today. Out. So yeah. Savage. They've been <laughs> savage today. So uh, let's talk about pricing. If we look at the 13-inch uh, line dock, let's say no memory in it. What no are we talking about? No memory at 349 USD. Then you, ha you add a hundred dollars, and you get 256 gigabytes for 449. So that could just be your backup drive then. Yeah, exactly. It's just a backup. You know, 256 is just what you need. And then for heavy users on 13 inch, we get the one terabyte version retailing for 749 USD. All right. Now, the 16 inch that we're announcing today will be available in March. But I can't really let you know the price yet because we're still. Oh, you're a big tease. I know, I know. No, but we're. Quentin, after all we've been through together, you're not going <laughs> to tell me. Here, just whisper it into this microphone. No, nah, I can't disappoint you. We still have a few details to fix. We're a really small team, only three people here. We're working really hard, but today we're still waiting for one or two quotes from our suppliers to know precisely what it's going to cost you. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is beautiful work, and I think uh, you're, you're in the right market because Apple people appreciate a beautiful design. And uh, a lot of docks are uh, horizontal, lay on your desk, and they take up a bunch of space. I've been favoring like the CalDigit TS3 Plus that at least stands Wonderful. up, yes. so it doesn't take up a lot of room. But this doesn't take up any room because my Mac would be under it, on yes. top of it, I should say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And another cool thing about it is that when you're not at your desk and you have your computer in your backpack, for instance, well, this thing is still beautiful in your desk. Yes. Because the other solutions, eh, in my opinion, they don't. Right? There are cables hanging all yeah, over the place. Exactly. Like, yeah. like this thing is neat and well, we put all the love that we have in it, so I hope you like it. It looks fantastic. So Quentin, if people wanted to find more about Line Doc, where would they go? www.linedoc.co. Linedoc.co. And it's Belgian. You gotta love that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Alison.